Welcome to a very different SEMA. Hello everybody, I'm Tor Dietrich. Well, normally we'd be in Las Vegas to show you the latest innovations from the automotive aftermarket. It's their main event and the world's largest custom car show, simply known as SEMA. But of course, COVID canceled that. So here we are at SEMA's Southern California headquarters. In fact, we're in front of SEMA's own garage where we're gonna show you some of the latest innovations to hit the automotive market. Joining me are Nick Miles and Mike Caudill from our Fox Sports Auto Show team. Well, we are staying in front of SEMA's own garage, and who better to talk about that than Mike Spagnola from SEMA. Mike, tell me what we have here. So the SEMA garage is a product development center, and it's really designed to help our manufacturers develop products and take them to market in a quick and an efficient manner, highly engineered. Now, despite COVID, this has been a busy place. It has been. We're actually running two shifts here. Manufacturers are busy developing products for both new cars and old cars. We like to say the SEMA show helps members bring new customers in, and the SEMA garage helps you develop those new products. And it's not a small garage, folks. This is, what, 15,000 square feet? 15,000 square feet. We have a full emissions center here. We have four engineers on staff. We help our members just walk through that whole process. Everything from CAD design to scanning to 3D printing to emissions control, all those things are housed here right at the SEMA garage. Thanks, Mike. And later on in the show, we're going to take you behind the scenes for a measuring session in progress so you can see firsthand how an aftermarket product is developed. But right now, let's talk cars. How about the Ford Bronco Sport? It's one of Ford's hottest selling cars in years. And guess what? Nick Miles got behind the wheel. I am standing on top of one of the Sierra mountains. These are some of the roughest and toughest trails in North America, and we're here because of this. It's the brand new Bronco Sport. In addition to being rugged, the new Bronco Sport features the Ford Sync 3 system accompanied by an eight inch touchscreen. The Ford Copilot 360 suite of advanced driver assist technologies is standard across the lineup, which is an absolute must to help protect any of your vehicle occupants. So here's one of the things that makes this vehicle perfect for off-roading. You have your GOAT mode, which is basically your different off-road modes. But the cool thing about this in is if you put it in one of those off-road modes, below 15 miles an hour, it turns the internal camera on. And so you can actually see the camera on the screen in front of me. Its upright design and safari style doors contribute to Bronco Sports' adventurous silhouette, which not only features a long flat roof rail for maximum carrying length, like surfboards or snowboards or even a tent, which is an option box you can check and purchase. Up front, signature encapsulated cartridge grille, round headlights, and timeless proportions. Ford tried to think of everything, exclusive liftgate LED flood lamp, because out in the wild, there are no street lamps, low load floor cargo area, and front fender peaks that allow drivers to see the corners of the vehicle easily from behind the wheel. Bronco Sport suspension can take on rugged terrain and is complemented by Ford's trail technologies with up to seven available GOAT modes. It helps drivers go over any type of terrain in various conditions. Plus exclusive features designed for life on the trails include safari style doors enabling class leading headroom and cargo area high enough to hold two 27.5 inch wheel mountain bikes. More than 100 factory backed aftermarket accessories are available. At the end of my four day drive in the California desert, you guessed it, I purchased a Bronco Sport. Auto enthusiasts rejoice. Two of the most anticipated vehicles of 2021. Over my shoulder, this, the Mad Bronco Sport Badlands Edition. Complete with the Yakima lock and load roof rack, rigid industries, 40 inch SRS light bar and a top mounted kayak. The exhaust was upgraded with a Porla catback exhaust for incredible sound and a mild vehicle leveling kit was added for off-road ground clearance. Black 17 inch off-road wheels by 1552 wrapped in BF Goodrich all-terrain tires this Bronco Sport is ready for adventure. Ford Motor Company wanted all three of its Bronco editions to be off-road capable, so they all will come with a Badlands edition, which comes with a host of features that you would expect to have for off-roading. What does that mean? Larger wheels and tires, aftermarket and performance features that allow you to get off-road to make it even more of an exploration vehicle. And this is the one everyone wants to be talking about. It's the all-new 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch Edition. 
Appropriately named the Weekender, Ford engineered custom fenders to the front and rear door, inserts for easy entry and exit, a 2-inch lift kit to provide an aggressive stance, 17-inch fuel off-road beadlock wheels, and Nitto grappler tires. And one of the best parts about this Ford Bronco concept is actually the exterior design. It looks just like the original from back in 1966. The interior is wrapped in leather with Best Stop developing a custom soft top and a hijack lift was included for emergency tire changing and a ton of other custom features make this Bronco a standout. And here's the best part about both of these concept vehicles is actually the starting price of the base edition. So if you want to start customizing a Bronco Sport like this one right here, your starting price of the vehicle at the dealership is going to be right around $27,000. Now, although the two and four door iconic Bronco are not out yet, you're going to be looking at a price right around $30,000 if you want to get into off-roading with this beast. When we come back, Ram has a new 702 horsepower truck with all the stuff that you might want for your rig. And Jeep, well, it's the most customized product on the planet. So what's new? We're going to show you. You're watching SEMA on Fox Sports. Stay with us. Welcome back to SEMA on Fox Sports. Well, it's been the uncontested off-road king of trucks. Of course, I'm talking about Ford's Raptor. Well, Ram says, not so fast. They've introduced their 702 horsepower TRX. And Nick Miles took that beast out for a ride. Hi guys, welcome to the desert outside Reno, Nevada. This is the new TRX, the fastest, quickest, and most powerful truck on sale in America today in its class. All right, Ram say that this truck will do zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.5 seconds. The zero to 100 mile an hour time is 10.5 seconds, and the quarter mile is 12.9 seconds. Go! Whoop. Holy crap, it is. So I'm on gravel, and I already hit 60 miles an hour. When we talk about exterior design of the TRX, you know it's a Ram truck. It has that modern Ram grille with a great big logo across the front. It does have the clearance lights at the top here, three. Now normally you'd see those on the very top of the vehicle. There is also a clearance light at the side here in the fender. You'll find LED headlights. They actually move 15 degrees with a nice daytime running light embedded at the bottom. We do have an integrated uh, front forward looking camera. Integrates into the 360 system, makes the truck very easy to park you're not losing any of the day-to-day -day drivability, even with the additional width. The vehicle has 18-inch wheels and is actually two inches higher than the regular Ram. It also has a ground clearance between 12 and 30 inches, depending on how you look at the vehicle. The other cool thing about this is if you look at the side profile of the vehicle, it has a very hourglass profile. And on the inside, you can get carbon fiber accents. Flat bottom steering wheel, just like they have in Le Mans. You'll also find aluminum paddle shifters on the back. When it comes to tech and infotainment, you have the 12 inch Uconnect screen here that has all the latest things like XM360. Plus, you'll get a trailer control system, which means towing should be easy as pie. Eight-speed transmission, specially designed to be able to take a lot of force, as well as the suspension active dampers, which actually give you those different desert racing modes. You can do a lot of cool things like Ford water up to 32 inches. When it comes to safety in the new TRX, they've amplified durability and sustainability. 74% of this frame is new, all the parts that you're looking at in blue. There are over a hundred active and passive safety systems in this brand new truck. The single largest category of growth in the automotive aftermarket is actually right here. It's in the off-road category. Case in point, the all new 2021 Ram TRX. Ram as a truck brand offers more than 600 accessories for their entire line of trucks. This TRX right here, more than a hundred different accessories. What's most unique about the Ram TRX is that it takes the guessing game out of customizing your truck. Straight off the assembly line, the TRX already will come with a host of standard options that are built for off-roading. 
Starting with a 2-inch lift kit, flared out fenders, and a super aggressive and functional TRX hood scoop that allows cool air in to provide increased performance. But what if you really want to challenge the TRX off-road? You're going to need to build out your truck to prepare it for the harsh punishment it will take. So if you are into something like desert free running, which gets its name from the type of racing done in the Baja 1000, you'll need a variety of products from Mopar. Starting with off-road rock rails, there are two options for the TRX offered by Mopar that are both meant to protect the body frame and to prevent rocks from kicking up and damaging the paint. And Ram customers expect the ability to fully customize their trucks. So case in point, even with the wheels, you have a non-beadlock option. But if you're into hardcore off-roading where you want to air your tire completely down, you have the option to actually add a beadlock. And speaking of tires, protecting your spare is paramount in finishing the race or ripping through the desert. Mopar offers a bed-mounted spare tire carrier that bolts up easily inside your truck bed. Not only does it protect the tire, but adds balance to the truck as well to provide more off-road stability. Inside the truck bed, you also have the option to add what Ram calls the Ram Bar. It's mounted to the truck bed frame and protects the truck in the event of a rollover, but they also happen to look cool and also serve as a great location to mount off-road lights. Mopar offers four LED lights measuring at 5 inches and they project 4800 lumens each. This helps you better navigate those trails after the sun goes down. Whether you're pounding the pavement on the street, rock crawling off road, or using your truck out at the family ranch, Ram and Mopar, with all of their line of accessories, they've got you covered. Next up, we show you the latest add-ons from Mopar to outfit your Jeep. And we go behind the scenes on what goes into making some of the great aftermarket products. It's all coming to you from SEMA on Fox Sports. Welcome back. Well, Jeep's considered the most customized product on Earth, and now there's a new Wrangler. Lucky Nick takes a look. Well, thanks, guys. Welcome to the state of Utah. When most car companies are getting out of diesel engines, Jeep is jumping back in. The Wrangler, the most capable factory-built off-road vehicle in the world, now comes in a turbo diesel. We got a chance to travel to the Beehive State, Utah, to test this new Jeep Wrangler diesel in the state's wild, rocky terrain. Although the new Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel has not yet been rated for fuel economy, Jeeps say that the 3-liter V6 engine will deliver the highest driving range ever. Jeep have vehicles to fit American lifestyles. And now you can choose how your Jeep is powered too, from the new Eco Diesel to the new 4xe, the first plug-in hybrid Jeep. The new 2021 Jeep 4xe still has the legendary Jeep capability and open-air freedom that the Jeep brand is known for, but now with a plug-in hybrid electric boost. Up to 25 miles on electricity alone, it has 375 horsepower, starts at $47,995 and is eligible for that $7,500 federal tax credit. Talk from the electric motor in the Wrangler 4xE's hybrid powertrain arrives instantly. On demand for the driver, the powertrain also delivers fuel savings. It's the power that makes this new Jeep Wrangler so attractive. With these uh, Dana axles, the amount of power that this has off-roading, it's really pushing me through some of these difficult sandy dunes. Jeep customers have been asking for a Wrangler diesel for years and it has finally arrived. And one of the things they worked really hard on in this vehicle is to try and reduce the noise inside the vehicle when you're driving on road. Jeep know that the brand's customers are adventurous and so their engineers spent a long time working on creating a solid, reliable and virtually damage-proof vehicle with extra strength and protection inside and out. I'm a big fan of Jeep because they are built on more than 75 years of legendary heritage. Jeep is the authentic SUV with class-leading capability, craftsmanship and versatility for people who seek extraordinary journeys. The Jeep brand delivers an open invitation to live life to the fullest by offering a full line of vehicles that continue to provide owners with a sense of security to handle any journey with confidence. 
What's truly unique about the SEMA show are the vehicles on the floor. And over the past five years, you've seen more Jeeps than anything else on the show floor. Why? Because they offer a ton of different accessories for their vehicles. Case in point, the Mopar brand has more than 500 parts for Jeeps. There are more than 200 Jeep performance parts as well that you can add to your individual Jeep. So what are they? Let's take a closer look at some of the aftermarket accessories Jeep is offering. The Jeep Gladiator Top Dog has a series of Jeep performance parts, including a 2-inch lift kit with Fox shocks, 17-inch beadlock-capable wheels, with 37-inch BEF Goodrich Mud Terrain tires. So for the true off-roading enthusiast, there are two things you really need for your Jeep, and it starts really right here. This is the most important feature you'll add to a Jeep, and those are rock sliders, so that when you're traversing over a rock, you're not scraping up the bottom of your Jeep. And then if you're really into it, like in Utah or Colorado, and you want to ford through water, you definitely want this purpose-built Jeep snorkel. Talk about overlanding with the Top Dog. My favorite feature on the inside of this panel right here. You've got your Dometic fridge for a nice cold pop on a hot day, and even if you want to store some food. But why do you want to store some food? Because of your Snap-on toolbox? No, not really. It's actually a Snap-on grill. Jeep brand and Jeep products are just you know, amazing vehicles, and utilizing the Mopar accessories and the Jeep performance parts adding to these vehicles, it just takes them to the next level as far as you know, catering to the, to the folks that want to go off-road with a Gladiator or with a, a four-door Rubicon. So if there's something that Jeep owners love, it's when summer comes around, they love to take their doors off and they love to take their roof off. Well, here's what's new for 2021. Not only do you have your tube doors, but you have this new cool mesh sleeve that goes over both of the doors. And they've also given you the same bikini top as well that you can marry in so it has all the same look. What's great is Jeep has you covered. So whether you wanna go overlanding for a few days in the back country, it could potentially be with this top dog right here. If you simply want a day trip, then check this one out. It might be the right fit for you and your family with the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. But there's one thing they both have in common, and that's Jeep offers more than 200 performance product parts that you can add to your vehicle. When we come back, we have some great ideas for your ride, and we'll take you behind the scenes on a measuring session. It's all coming to you from SEMA's Garage on Fox Sports. Welcome back to SEMA on Fox Sports. Well, we've seen a lot of add-ons, but what about performance? Well, there's a lot of talk these days about turbos, especially on manufacturer cars. Why? Because they add power and increase mileage. How? Well, the turbo uses your exhaust to spin a turbine so that more air gets sucked into your engine. The result? More performance and even better mileage. This one is from Garrett Advancing Motion. They're one of the big guys in turbos. They tell me that their basic turbo starts at about $1,000. It increases horsepower by about 25% while delivering better mileage and lowering emissions. Performance turbos run from $1,500 to $5,000 and can output a whopping 3,000 horsepower per turbo. But you better have a good intercooler as well to cool things down. Like this PowerMax from Garrett. Check this out. Garrett added their turbos and intercooler to this exotic. Even a Lamborghini can do a wheelie. And now Mike has a few more ideas on how to outfit your rig. If you're in the market to fully customize your Jeep, there is no other company in the automotive aftermarket that has you covered quite like Truck Hero. And with more than 20,000 different parts that you can install on your vehicle, they literally have you covered from bumper to bumper. For many regular truck owners, there is nothing better than protecting the items in your truck bed. A tonneau cover is one of the best investments you can make with your truck. And one thing consumers are looking for in a quality tonneau cover is actually right here. It's ease of use. So with one simple pull of this cable, you can easily open up the truck bed. New on the Revolver X4S is a powder coated finish to give the truck bed top a clean look. New rubber grips to make rolling easier, new end caps and a strong locking system, all of which provide the ultimate in truck bed security. One of the coolest tech products for truck owners you might want to consider is the Amp Research Smart Series for their line of powered steps. It's app based. Simply download the app and you can now remotely lower your steps in advance of getting in the vehicle. You can also keep the steps down to have better access to the roof of the truck from the outside. 
When you're off-roading, it's all about how the vehicle performs off-road, but who says that you can't also have some functionality mixed with style? Well, check this out right here. These are the all-new Rugged Ridge Fender Liners, and they're not only meant to protect the inside wheel wells of the vehicle, but they also give you a cool look. And MFAB has launched their new rock sliders called trail sliders that fit just about every make of Jeep. They're used to protect the underside of your vehicle. And perhaps one of my favorite new products for off-roading is the all-new Rugged Ridge spare tire carrier that sits in the cargo bed of the Jeep Gladiator. This provides better center of gravity for those that are off-roading. The beauty of the automotive aftermarket is that the world is truly your oyster. It doesn't matter if you want to spend $100 on your vehicle or you want to spend $20,000 on your vehicle, you can do that in the automotive aftermarket. Now, if you can imagine, every part added to a car has to be fitted. It starts with a measuring session. And here to explain more about that is Catherine Reinhardt. She's with Four Wheel Parts. So Catherine, explain what you're holding there. This is actually a prototype product for a leveling kit for the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Explain the process, what happened? Having access to the SEMA garage allows us to utilize their tools, their resources, and their services to create one-of-a-kind products for the new vehicle. And we use their 3D scanning materials, we use their printer, we use their ferro arm, and that's how we're able to prototype a new product. And you were telling me the turnaround on this was, are you ready for this? Just two weeks, that's outstanding. Yeah, we were able to turn this product around in about two weeks time. We were able to attend the second measuring session to do a test fitment to make sure that this product fits perfect. Thanks, Catherine. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for this show. For more, go to SEMA.org or ourautoexpert.com for some car reviews. For Mike Caudill and Nick Miles, I'm Tor Dietrich. We'll see you on the road.